Well, Portland Mayor Ted Wheeler mostly stayed out of that one, but he did engage with us on a different topic, which we're hearing from him today after city commissioners agreed last week to start pulling the city out of the Joint Office of Homeless Services. Wheeler was absent from council last week when this discussion came up and we covered it here on the story. But commissioners Renee Gonzalez, Mingus Maps and Dan Ryan all agreed to have an ordinance drafted that would sever ties between the city and the county under the joint office. The city hands over about $30 million a year to the county to help fight homelessness. But over the summer, they drew up a new intergovernmental agreement or IGA as we'll call it. It renewed the contract between the city and the county for three years, but the contract gave the city an out if they didn't feel like the county was making enough of the progress they wanted. And it seems those three commissioners named think the, count, the county is falling short. Here's what Maps and Gonzalez said last week. Our current partnership is not focused on the primary goal that this council needs to focus on, and that goal is reducing the absolute number of people who sleep on our streets every night. Uh, so I do believe it is time to hit the reset button um, in our relationship with the county. Things must change, and I believe we should have a serious conversation as a council about what the future of this par partnership looks like in terms that meet both the needs of those struggling on the street as well as residents who want to live in a healthy, safe and vibrant city. Commissioner Carmen Rubio disagreed, saying the city needs to see the agreement through, and that's where Mayor Wheeler stands too. Today, he told us that he thinks the IGA is the right tool to be able to address the homeless crisis. Just over 100 days ago, our city council voted unanimously to support the new IGA with the county. And that's an IGA that we negotiated over 18 months. That IGA has a clear goal, which is to reduce unsheltered homelessness on Portland streets by 50% by the end of 2025. And it has literally 100 specific strategies within that plan to get it done. And we're already implementing those strategies. And it includes, from the county's side, supporting the city's emergency shelter plan improving the way we deliver mental health services to people on the streets, expanding access to housing for people who go through the city shelter program. So from my perspective, while I understand my colleagues' concerns, I think it's short-sighted to pull us out of that IGA. I think we should stay in it. We've moved the ball a long way towards what the city needs to keep our right-of-ways clear and provide humane strategies for people on the streets and just disrupting that process or pulling out of it or taking our cards and going home. I don't think that's a smart strategy right now. Let's the timing here is a key player too. Mayor Wheeler said that since the city has a new form of government starting in January with a new mayor and 12 new city councilors, he thinks it's a bad move to land them with this problem to try and solve. I hope the new city council doesn't have to start from scratch. I think that would be doing a huge disservice to the new council. This council and my administration have spent 18 months negotiating this IGA. And to simply put it aside and put the goal of reducing unsheltered homelessness aside and to put aside the 100 plus different strategies we agreed to implement and we're already starting to implement those 100 strategies to get people off the streets, I think it would be foolish. It would simply dump the same load of problems onto the next council and then make them start from scratch. No word yet on when council would actually take up voting to leave, on, leave the IGA. But again, three out of five commissioners right now have said they want to go. Three commissioners who are all vying for your vote this November. Maps and Gonzalez for mayor and Ryan for city council. If they do vote to leave, they would have to give Multnomah County Commission 90 days notice which would put us into next year with the next city council.